Damn, you gotta do that. Do it like that. <laughs> Hello and what is up guys? We're at Unique Photos. Basically it's the day after I shot all the photos on the Mamiya 7. Yeah, I'm basically returning the camera back and I'm going to give in my rolls. I shot three rolls. Let me just make sure. Yep. Yeah, three rolls of Portra 800. So I'm gonna give in the camera and also give in these rolls to get developed and then I'm gonna scan them at home. Yeah, this is an interesting camera. And yeah. So as you guys can see right here, this is how you fill out if you're giving off your film. And in this case, I'm giving off my film to just get developed, not scanned. Hello and what is up guys? Vito here back at it again with another video. Very, very excited. First off, this is the Mamiya 7. Unique Photos actually entrusted me with actually holding on to this. So yeah, they decided to let me borrow it. And I was like, why not make a video on this camera I've never actually shot with? So this video is basically a first impression video. Not gonna lie, I did do a little bit of my research, nothing too crazy. But yeah, this camera, it's a six by seven medium film format camera. This is actually my favorite film format to actually be shooting on, dealing with the photos that you get from a six by seven film format. Portrait 800, I'm gonna just show y'all real quick how to load the film into the actual cam, you feel me? But yeah, we're gonna use Portrait 800. Press these at the same time, all right? So, but yeah, basically once you open the back, you wanna close this so your lens don't get dirty like so you twist this like so and this whole compartment comes out of nowhere and it closes it so the, so your lens don't get dirty <laughs> but okay after that you there's a switch on the side right here push it to the left and you're able to take out the spool basically you need to do the same thing here but you need to push it to your right there's a switch on the side right here so and this part goes down, as you can see, this part goes down. So now you're able to put the spool on the right side inside the camera. Okay, cool. All right, I got it in there. Press the bottom. Now that part comes up and it's holding the spool now. Okay. Put the film in like so. You wanna drag it like so and twist this you want to just keep do doing this so you see the line but there's an indicator right here so you see how the line aligns with the indicator right there the indicator arrow so that means you just need to shut the the camera after that like so push this button back up and the compartment just opens Keep going so there's an indicator that numbers it at, at the top right here one at the top right here this is the ISO and the shutter speed so to change the ISO what you want to do is pull this up it's kind of hard to see but since I'm shooting at portrait 800 I put it to 800 put it to those numbers but the ISO is 800 so I'm gonna have it at 800 but yeah that's Pretty much, yeah, that's how you load the film into the camera. All right, so yeah, just so y'all know, this is a switch right here. That's on the red, you just gotta bring it to the white and the camera's on. There's a light meter in the camera once you look through the viewfinder as well, but I'm just gonna stick to the light meter on my phone app. For real, for real. But yeah, let's see here. All right, hold on. <laughs> Can I close my tab? I don't like the- uh... Oh, shit, I took a picture. I definitely did take a picture. Damn, I took a picture. Wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> I did, I definitely did. But like the shutter is like so like silent, like you can't even hear it. And it's like once you, and I, was, I tried to half press, and I don't think that's a half press. I don't want to make that mistake again, but. All right, no, it's okay. Yeah. I'm ready now. All right. 
and count to three. One, two, three. Count to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let me get you like that still, but put your right hand down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And look away. Let me see how it looks. Yeah. I gotta do a tutorial on my stances, no cap. No, I'm <laughs> I gotta do a tutorial on my stances. I really feel, I be like, I'm like, <laughs> damn. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me see how you, yeah, just, yeah, that's perfect, that's perfect. Alright. One. Oh, let me get closer. Real far. One. Two. Three. Alright, bet. Second roll done. Yeah, 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 it's light. Cause yeah, when I came here like two days ago, I knew we, we were gonna need this. Yeah, it's pretty dark too. One, two, three. All right, let me get you still like that. Uh, just put your hands down. Yeah. And then. Nah, nah, nah. I, yeah, I, I like the yeah, like that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, if it worked, it worked, but if it did it. Two, three. That was fire. Right there is cool. Can I get you like on the steps right here? Yeah. And I, I get, I, I shoot, eat. yeah, I shoot from the buck. Two, three. So far dealing with this camera, once again, this is my first time using this camera. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't think, I might be focusing correctly. Hello and what is up guys, Vito here back at it again with yet another video for you guys. Um, yeah, we decided to, ooh, my jacket all caught up, hold up. We're gonna cut that out. Um, yeah, we're doing first impression, talking about the camera here at 1096 Studios. I wanted to do this here, the Mamiya 7. All right, if you guys did not know this, this is a $4,000 camera that unique photos themselves the camera shop I always go to if you did not know they're located in Philly and New Jersey and I'm grateful and I thank them so much I feel like this camera should not cost four thousand dollars you feel me maybe maybe like a thousand maybe fifteen hundred but four thousand dollars for this camera is a little insane would I change my Mamiya RB67 for that camera the answer is no all right, I'm, I'm be completely honest with you. The answer is no, but once again, everybody has their preferences and I've actually been shooting with my Mamiya RB67 for almost three years now. So 
even the weight of it, right? The Mamiya 7 is a compact and it weighs less than the Mamiya RB67, but I'm just so used to the weight itself. It doesn't even matter to me whether people say, you know, one weighs heavier than the other. I did enjoy the experience of trying out a new camera. Things I liked about the camera though, it had a light meter. Another thing is, this is a six by seven medium film format camera. This film format is my favorite. It's almost you shooting on a expensive digital camera. You feel me? Dealing with a expensive lens. Just shooting film and having those photos come out, come out as crisp as they did dealing with Endeza and her yellow and black fit. Shout out to Endeza the model. The thing that was stressing me out, mind you, this was my very first time using this camera one thing i was looking through a viewfinder i could see my hand and the lens that was a little bit of a distraction right because once again it's my first time using this camera so me myself i'm overthinking about a lot of things so i thought maybe my hands was going to be in the shot when i took the photo and i thought that my uh the lens was going to be in the actual shot when i took the photo that was a bit of a distraction if i shot more than once obviously dealing with this camera i'd probably get used to it obviously but for the very first time using it that was a little bit of a distraction another thing was the focusing right it's different if we're comparing it to my mamiya rb67 setup right i, I don't think i've ever used a camera that actually i mean it's a rangefinder camera but yeah i've never actually used a camera dealing with such a focusing as the mamiya 7 right to be able to focus your subject if you see doubles that means basically your subject is not in focus you're seeing doubles once you focus it it comes together the subject comes together that's when you know that your subject is in frame and that's a wrap <laughs> no thank you guys so much for coming on here and tuning into this video once again thank you thank you thank you to unique photos for allowing me to borrow such an expensive film camera the mamiya 7 the link to unique photos website will be in the description below model and daza link to her instagram will be in the description below and the beautiful 1096 studios where we done shot this first impression that link will be in the description below too thank you guys so much for coming on here and tuning into this video and yeah till next time happy holidays merry christmas happy new years this is vito signing off hope you guys enjoyed my santa hat but we out see you guys